Hello and welcome to Business Today's Weekly Tech Wrap where we take you through the hottest headlines from the tech world this week. Asus's much awaited Zenfone Max Pro M1 went on sale in India this week and went out of stock in a matter of minutes. The reason the phone is selling like hotcakes is its high-end feature list for a sub 15000 price tag the phone features the latest snapdragon 636 processor along with three choices of ram 3gb 4gb and 6gb while the 3 and 4gb variants are already available in the market the 6gb variant is expected to come sometime soon the phone also features a dual camera setup with 13 megapixel sensor and 5 megapixel sensor at the back whereas the front is a 8 megapixel snapper The 3GB variant of Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 is priced at Rs. 10,999, whereas the 4GB variant is available at Rs. 12,999. The higher end 6GB variant is available for Rs. 14,999. LG launched its latest flagship device G7 Think at an event in New York this week. The phone comes with the latest Snapdragon 845 processor coupled with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage or 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The USB of the phone is a dedicated Google key, AI capabilities for the dual camera setup at the back. and hi-fi dac for better audio performance while the LG G7 thing does offer some good features it will be hard pressed to surpass the competition in premium segment from Apple iPhone X Samsung S9 Plus and Huawei P20 Pro earlier this week twitter prompted its users to change the passwords after discovering a bug that was storing their passwords in an internal log twitter claims to have rectified this bug and that no data breach or misuse has happened as of yet Still, Twitter asks its users to change the password for all the services which uses the same password as their Twitter account. Xiaomi went public earlier this week, listing its initial public offering at Hong Kong. The Chinese tech giant is expected to raise 10 billion dollars in the largest listing since 2014 when Alibaba debuted at the New York Stock Exchange to raise 25 billion dollars. The IPO is expected to value Xiaomi at 100 billion dollars. While WhatsApp co-founder Jean Kuom has announced that he'll step down as the CEO of the company, reports are doing rounds that the business officer Neera Jaroda will be named the next CEO. The 39-year-old IIT Delhi alumnus has worked with Paytm and Google earlier in his career in different capacities. Aroda is regarded as a merger and acquisition expert and has been working with WhatsApp for the past 7 years. And that's all from us this week. If you like what we do here, please like, comment and share. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, do not forget to subscribe and press that bell icon. Thank you.